During the 65 million years following the extinction of the dinosaurs, the success story of the mammals has been more than a little imbalanced. Eutherians placental mammals like dogs, horses, you and me had an evolutionary rager, exploding in diversity and filling vacant ecological roles across the northern hemisphere. Metatherians including marsupials like kangaroos and koalas only got a modest foothold in the smaller, southern continents of South America and Australia. For tens of millions of years, everything north of the equator seemed to be a land of total placental mammal dominance, but the fossilized remains of a cat-sized metatherian carnivore in Turkey are now challenging that story. The fossilized skull and skeleton were unearthed and collected from the Ooz and Karsidea formation in Turkey's central Anatolia region, and described in a new paper in the journal PLOS One by researchers from the University of Washington and the University of Salford. The remains represented a new species, Anatolia delphiis mai, which due to its status as a metatherian mammal, certain features of its skeleton and its age about 4,344 million years old was quickly recognized as an incredible find. Anatolia delphiis was unlike any of its northern contemporaries, which are tiny, bug-eating critters. For one, it was big, weighing roughly as much as a honeydew melon. Anatolia delphiis was an order of magnitude more massive than any other northern metatherian mammal. It was also carnivorous, armed with burly jaws lined with rugged premolars, allowing for a powerful bite that could have splinted bone or crunched the shells of armored invertebrates. Based on analysis of Anatolia delphis skeleton, the cat-sized animal was probably an excellent climber and grasper, and would have been at home in the trees. In life, Anatolia delphiis would have resembled something akin to one of Australia's quolls crossed with a possum. However, instead of the lovely, wet eed pile of fluff staring out at you from a Qantas brochure, Anatolia delphiis would have been more like a mini marsupial tree hyena, hungrily licking its bone crushing chops while stalking prey in the canopy. The discovery of Anatolia delphiis rewrites a portion of the paleontological story of metatherians, showing that they occupied a position in the food web that was thought to be invariably the domain of placental mammals in that half of the world. This reality is typically explained by a possible competitive advantage in placental mammals. Indeed, the metatherian rick southern continents were conveniently isolated from the roiling cauldron of northern, placental competition, and when these two guilds finally met, it was the metatherians that lost out. Consider what happened in the aftermath of the Great American Interchange, the movement of animals separately unique to North and South America three million years ago across the thenially formed isthmus of Panama. Before this, South America harbored fearsome metatherian carnivores known as Borhinoids, which included wolf-like animals and Thylacosmolus, which was basically an off-brand saber-toothed cat. But soon after North American placental carnivores like dogs and cats migrated across the isthmus, these metatherians went extinct. Notably, Australia too has suffered extinctions of endemic marsupials like giant wombats and immense, flat-faced kangaroos suspiciously close to the timing of first contact with placental invaders. Suggestions as to why metatherians always seem to fall apart in these encounters include developmental constraints in their shoulders and skull, making them less evolutionarily flexible. With these limitations, marsupials and the relatives might be less able to adapt to new challenges. Unburdened by these anatomical constraints, placental mammals could utilize a larger evolutionary toolbox to acquire food, flee predators, and exploit their environment. But Anatolia delphiis probably wasnt a battle-hardened exception, beating the odds and rejecting the notion of metatherian competitive inferiority. The secret to Anatolia delphiis existence may come from geological and paleontological evidence that 40 million years ago, its Anatolian home was an island. This island would have acted as a refuge, allowing Anatolia delphiis to evolve to fill a predator niche with zero competition from placental mammals on the mainland. The fossil find is an amazing snapshot of the past, illuminating what was likely an ephemeral holdout, a protected relic reigning behind enemy lines. Plus one Jake Weller is a Seattle area science writer with an adoration for the tree of life's weird, wild, and unsung. Follow him on Twitter or at his blog. More science posts.